Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zaystars, and we are on weekend numero cinco, number five. And I think we're ready to head into the desert. I think we're ready. First step is always to change out the oxygen bladder. Because we always want to make sure we're good on oxygen, we're good on food. Uh, let's grab the biofuel drill and the biofuel canister. We'll grab our portable shelter. Hmm. Should we have a bed? Let's see. We need some of that, that, and that. Let's make a second. No, I'm, I'm missing something. Here we go. Oh, leather. All right, let's make a second bed. Because it's entirely possible we'll want to hang out in a bed. Okay, um, 32 arrows should be good. We've got 90 bullets. We have a we have a rifle now. We have a compound bow, or sorry, recurve bow. We've got torches. We've got bandages. We've got food. We got some rotten food. Is gonna get put in here. Oh, we need to go pick up um, our anti poison. Let's see. Antibiotic. That's afflictions such as pneumonia. And this one is the anti poison. So, oh, let's go put the water thing in the water thing. Because we definitely want to. If we get pneumonia going through that cave, I'm gonna be so annoyed. All right, and in here, I've been doing some mining. We've got this stuff going. We've got titanium, copper, because we have the steel pickaxe now. Um, what else do we have? What else did we do? I think that's it. And I've just been doing a lot of mining and, and just kind of looking around for things. All right, we'll go up here. Let's grab... We'll drop that in. We'll grab our canteen. So I made the canteen. It doesn't lose water. The canteen is pretty legit. And then we need to go north. So we're going to head this way. Now we've been here once before, so it shouldn't be a big deal getting back to it. Um, the best way to get there. Shouldn't be that a big deal getting back to it. Um, there is, I think, one or two bears in the way. I have killed the bear a couple of times. I think I've killed two bear with my rifle, just kind of making sure everything works well. Uh, didn't get any prime meat out of it. There is like a prime cut of meat you can get that's got a really awesome buff when you cook it. It doesn't last long though, like it spoils real fast. But I didn't get it. Really the best way to do it is to get it on the way home. Or have a campfire with you. Which reminds me, you need a campfire in order to... Um, sleep. Aren't you freaky animals? <laughs> yeah. How does one campfire? What do we need? Rocks, sticks, and fibers. What now? Oh, there he is. There's the bear. So we don't really have to worry about him since he's behind us. Might be a problem when we go to leave, but we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that on the way home. Because even if I kill him now, he'll just respawn. Okay. Now, we're not picking up iron or anything like that this trip. And we may end up moving operations down here. But the only problem with that is I'd have to disassemble everything. And it would be a huge pain. So, but let's take it one task at a time. First task is going to be to get this biofuel drilling machine. Wait, hold on. Okay, well, hopefully when we use it on the rock wall, it'll advance the quest line. All right. All right, we made it here pretty quick. Yeah, see, there's still a lot of minerals in here. 
And if I end up needing them, I'll collect them on the way home. All right. Now, where... Here we go. Here we are. Press F to access. Is this going to wake... Oh. Is this going to draw in a bunch of bugaboos? Okay. Okay, so it did auto-complete. I guess we just wait. I don't know. Man, it's drilling the crap out of this thing. Oh, I got the parasite. Oops. What does that do? Anti-parasitic. Poisoning? No. Oh, shit. Okay. You cleared it. Nice work. Time to get the hell out of the underground. All right, well, it's, it's hotter than a snake's ass out here. All right, what are we doing? Yeah, here's more. There is just a ton of materials in here. This is insanity. Oh, there we go. So how do you, how do you survive out here? Like... There it is. The aftermath of our attempt to cool this planet down to something livable. Guess the joke's on us. Get yourself to the scanning zone and keep your eyes open. You're off the edge of the map out here. Sure, why not get to the scanning zone? Locate scan zone on map. Oh my god! Way up there? <laughs> well, did, do I need the the portable scanner now? Like, do I need to go back to base and get the portable scanner? So what's out here? What is that? No. What is that thing? Oh, it's antelope. Okay. I'm not overly concerned about antelope. Sulfur. So we've got, it looks like we've got all of the basics out here as far as oxygen and, oh, did I do the, yeah. As far as oxygen and rocks and sulfur and, and whatnot, there's not any trees. It's pretty hot. Oh, we got the lung? Seriously? All right. Okay, we get rid of that nonsense. What is this? Oh, it's silica, okay. Their efforts to cool the planet down. That That's pretty insane. All right, so so far I'm seeing antelope, I'm seeing Oh, here's a little oasis. Let's go down here. Get a little drink of water. I guess we don't really need to. So we've got a few trees down here. We could put up a... a building. Now, what I... I don't know if... Oh, here, we can just get in. I don't know if, um... The sandstorm will damage the stone, though. It might. I didn't bring a hammer with me. If the sandstorms damage the stone, that could be bad. 
Oh wow, this is a nice little oasis, isn't it? No berries out here either. Lots of antelope. There's a cave. There's another cave. I wonder if the caves here are any different. Doesn't seem overtly hot. I mean, I'm not I'm not overheating right now. So that's good. So we have we have some resource caves. Yeah. Regular stuff. There's some iron. Some water. Yep, there's a regular resource cave. Wood's really the tough one. Oh, is that a hyena? Okay, so they'd be the they'd be the doggy predators up here. The hyenas. What goes on? Is this Locate the scanning zone. Oh, yep, yeah, more antelope. Oh, it's cold up here. It's icy. I did want to get some ice to preserve food. I don't know if now's the right time to... Probably not. Nope. Sugar honey iced tea. Alright, well... I just picked up 50 ice. And it's getting dark. Okay, so we can't go that way. So we're gonna need to... Probably go up this way. Oh yeah, reach, reach the scanning zone, deploy a radar, complete the terrain scan. Okay, so I need to go back and get the radar. Okay, there's no point in me running around out here without the radar. Okay, so I am going to head back home, grab the radar. Hopefully I can get there before it gets dark. I hope. But it's not too hot here, so I think this armor, this armor, this leather armor is going to be just fine. All right, ladies and germs, we are back, and we have a radar unit strapped to our back. Because that's where it belongs. Now, this time... I mean, who knows which direction we gotta go. We know going around and to the left was the wrong way to go. So let's try slightly to the right. Let's head back down towards that oasis. Use that oasis as kind of a central point, and then we went to the left of the oasis. Now I think there's a passage straight forward from the oasis, so we'll try that one. And hopefully that'll get us where we need to go. Alright, so we went that way before. Which it's good to know there's ice up there, so ice is something that we can do. Which is pretty amazing that there's ice with the temperature like it is over here, you know. It's quite the biome shift. All right, um, much like I did with the Arctic Wolves in the last one, I'm going to try to avoid as many of the hyenas as possible. Just because I don't see any need to harass them. Fiber, tree sap, and wood. Oh, that's cool. That stuff's got tree sap pre-made in it. Huh. That's pretty cool. All right.
Okay. I mean, I guess I could go that way. I can't imagine it's going to be the right way, though. Oh, my food ran out. We're just going to save the bread for now. Can't be that way. That wouldn't make any sense. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that I can't go this way. But, you know. Let's try backtracking a little bit. Uh, let's see. What's over here? Can I go that way? I wonder if I was supposed to go in that cave. Don't growl at me. Okay, I can go this way. Not sure how I missed this before. Alright, well, they make the heat very manageable. Although, I guess without heat clothes, you know, what are you going to do? Lots of water. I mean, there's a lot of water. I, I think I was stressing more than I needed to. Now, there is an issue when I'm wearing my full suit of leather armor, but... I wonder if I could have just used the cloth armor. If it looks like I'm going to get into a fight, I'll put the full suit on, but... There's another one. Another. There's another mine. Alright, well, we seem to be going generally the right direction. Look at that dog swimming. Kind of want to see what's up here. Yeah, you're going to think, goat. Alright, well, do we... No... Oh, that's not good. A light sand weather event. Um... I mean... There's doggos over there. I guess we put it here, next to the water. Okay, I guess we wait out the sandstorm now. Alright. That sand event is done doesn't... well, it's almost done. It doesn't look like it damaged my stuff. I was kind of worried about that because I didn't bring a hammer. But it looks like everything is fine. So, we shouldn't have a problem. What did I have in this spot? Was it something important? Oh, bandages. Okay, so we're, I think we're good. We didn't overheat. We didn't encounter any enemies. Nothing crazy happened. Um, we can go that way. Oh, that, that thing died. We can go that way, or we can go that way. Uh, let's try going this way first. Oh, there are fibers here. Okay. I was gonna. I was thinking of build, building a hammer, but I didn't realize there were fibers here. Will I refill my water doing this? Yes, I will. Yeah, that's the safe way to refill water. So apparently, apparently we absorb water through osmosis. Mm, this is kind of going the wrong way. We get pneumonia in a cave in a matter of minutes, but we can absorb water through osmosis. Maybe that's why the the cave is so dangerous when it comes to um, pneumonia, you know, because the humidity. Maybe because our bodies have developed to absorb water through osmosis. When we're in the cave, we're absorbing that cold water through osmosis, and it's a problem. I haven't actually swam in the water for an extended period of time. So I don't know. I'm probably not going to. Yeah, we're kind of overshooting here. I don't think hyenas howl like that. I, I think the developers need to come up with some sounds for hyenas that aren't the same as wolves. Oh, shit. Fuck off. 
Jerk. Did he... No, he didn't bugger me. Okay. Alright, well... So far, we're not... We're not getting any timers. We got some coal up here. This place has got all sorts of minerals, and there's no plants in the way. What? The hell was that? Maybe the antelope noise? There's another hyena. If I don't walk right in front of them, they don't seem to be bothered by me. I think we've cooled off. It's cooled off enough I can put my armor back on. See what happens. Hmm. So far, so good. I don't... So far, I'm not seeing why they suggested we bring... Anti-poison. I want to say it was in the patch notes. You know, when they're doing the whole about the game, about the changes, make sure you bring anti-poison with you, but... So far, the only one I've used, I got the lung, the, 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 the crud lung, the cave lung once, and I used my anti-cave lung medicine. I'm going all the way around in a circle. I wonder if there's a spot I'm supposed to climb up this hill. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I was coming at this all the entirely wrong way. I don't know what I was thinking, thinking I had to get up there, but it looks like it's just right up here, the scan location. I should be coming up on it any second. The dude should be talking to me about it. Yeah. Should be right here. Yep. All right. You made it to the scanning zone. Okay. Uh let's does the work. All you got to do is keep it safe. Let's put up a Shouldn't be too hard. A little hovel. Okay, so let let me put this hovel up real quick. Okay. Spawn point set. Everything's down. I think we should be good. Hopefully whatever critter comes out here doesn't bugger me. Uh, so in previous games, there was a spot that I could hang out and the bugaboo couldn't get to me. I wonder if that's the case here. Where do I put this down? Anywhere? Okay, activate radar. So let's see... If I activate that radar and I come running up here, is there... Yeah. We got a little bit of cover right here. Yep, that's going to be the plan if I can get that far from it. Alright, well, let's... Uh, are there any other threats? No. Alright. Okay. These things can be temperamental. So don't wander off. Am I too far? Scan completes 100... Kill the creature? What creature? What in seven flavors of fuck is that? And how do you kill it? What in seven... For the head. Or, or whatever that is. What? I don't see anything. the signal. Reactivate the oh. radar. When you get a moment. Radar needs reactivation. What, I was too far away? Oh, what? In the actual hell? Oh, something came out of the ground. Something came out of the ground. Holy crap, what is that? Lost the signal. Reactivate the radar. When you get a moment.
I feel like that's a to be hunted by a group of people kind of a creature. I need a drink. We lost the signal. Damn it, the hell. Reactivate the radar. Wait, when you get a moment. Wait, 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 when you get a moment. Keep going, radar. Okay, so what? Did he bugger off? He's not super interested. Well, this one was pretty straightforward. I wonder if that thing is running around. Is it still running around? Uh-huh. He's still out here. Holy crap! What the fuck is that? Is that what the anti-poison is for? How does one... Oh, why is it so hot? Alright, let's take my pants off. Put my hat back on, see what that does. No? Take my hat back off? Oh, I got two shots in on him. Where'd he go? There he is. crap on a cracker. He spits goop. Oh, shit. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. That hit me? Yeah, it did. I just did a little damage. A uh, little bit of damage, nothing too serious. I do not want him hitting me physically. Ow! Ooh! Is he dead? He's dead! <laughs> Jimmy! How does one... Interact... How does one collect things from it? Oh, fuck off, hyena. Whoa! Ow! I can't collect anything from it. I should have killed it beforehand. Oh! Standworm scale. I got one. Is there more? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gimme, gimme. Do I have to slice them off like this? No? Do I just get two? That doesn't seem like it's enough. Can't do the skinning thing. So what, I have to kill a bunch of these things? Is that... Are there scale? No. What's this? Is that just a rock? No, that's a scale. Why are there scales all over the place? Okay. What 
What the hell are you guys doing up here? Fuck off. I got sandworm scales to collect. Oh, here we go. Hell yeah, boy. Are there more? No. I don't see any out here. Okay. Uh, alright. I mean, I don't know what weapons you create with a sandworm scale, but... Optional. Craft weapons with the scales. Why does this have an O next to it? Oh. Do these... La are these... No. Titans cast off armor. Oh, here we go. Sandworm knife. Sandworm spear. Sandworm arrow. Okay. Cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is the sandworm. I don't know why in the hell you would want to craft anything. Like, this is the end of the mission. I don't know what the point would be. Unless it's one of those items that you get to take back to the ship with you, but... You are one dead sandworm. Hell yeah, I'm glad I stuck around. That was a fun fight. Well... Oh, one of the guys I was talking with was like, I'm not buying, I'm not playing this game unless it has mutant, weird, funky creatures. Well, buddy, if you're watching this, here is a huge mutant, ma, funky creature. <laughs> yep. Need me some water. It's getting hot. That definitely qualifies as a huge, weird, mutant creature. I'm going to go get my... Shut up, antelope. I'm going to go get my stuff up here. And we are going to head back to the drop ship. And we or not the drop. We're going to head back to the base and see if I can't... Um... What do you call it? How heavy are these things? See if I can't make something cool out of it. Actually, I might have... I've only got five. To make the knife... I need two leather. I mean, I should, that would be easy to get. Here, let's... Let's kill something. I just need the leather and the meat. Well, I might as well take it all. And then debone it. Alright. And... I need some wood. Boink. All right, and craft. There we go. I crap. Oh, craft weapons. Well, I mean, I did. Huh. Well, what does it say? Here we go. Oh, turn to drop ship. Huh. Well, I've got a skinning knife. I never use a spear. I don't I don't see any reason to do a spear. I really don't. And there's not really any reason to do an arrow. Sandworm scale. What? Ooh, that took a lot. No, it took one. Oh, there's the rest of them. I mean, it'd be cool to start with this knife and a spear in the next one. Okay. Well, that was cool. I got a knife. What now? You know, I'm kind of tempted now to just goof around and try to locate a, uh, um, build a base down here. You know? I got the base back there. I could grab some choice items that I would need and come up here. I mean, there's all the iron and stuff I could ever want. And there's a weather event coming. I think we're going to go ahead and cut this episode here, though, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. 
Uh, and as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day.